Today, you'll learn how to create a Nearpod lesson. There are two ways to create a Nearpod lesson. The first way is to create a lesson in Nearpod. The second way is to create a lesson in Google Slides. Or you can also select your format in the upper right-hand corner by selecting the New tab. When creating a lesson within Nearpod, you can begin by titling your lesson. Next, you can add engaging and interactive content and activities by clicking on the Add Slide button. Our Content tab is meant to engage and teach students. Our Activities tab is meant to assess our students. You can also enhance pre-existing content by uploading your own pre-made PowerPoints, PNGs, and PDFs. You can do so by selecting any PowerPoint, PDF, or PNG from your computer drive, Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. Once uploaded, now I can Nearpodize my PowerPoint. Nearpodizing simply means that you're adding engaging, interactive features and activities to enhance your pre-made lesson. When done Nearpodizing your pre-existing PowerPoint, make sure to click Save and Exit. Here's my PowerPoint that's now enhanced with all of its Nearpod engaging interactive features and content. Remember, you can also create a lesson in Nearpod within Google Slides. All you have to do is simply select Lesson in Google Slides, and it will walk you through step-by-step step how to create a Nearpod lesson within Google Slides. If you have any further questions, please visit nearpod.com forward slash resources or email us at support at nearpod.com.